Green iguanas, beautiful, beautiful animals. However, they got one problem that we just always have to deal with. That's right, if you guessed it, they're fingernails. Boop, one of them things will tear you up. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe here with Divine Reptiles, where we love to educate and inspire, maybe give you some reptile tips along your way, anything we can do to help and even bring you on an adventure of hopefully being able to start our own business going around and showing these beautiful animals so if you're all about that and this is totally up your alley make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up look how beautiful this one is however she's a little feisty that's okay that's what they do see when it comes to iguanas there's three things you have to worry about the bite she's not so bad at the bite the whip she's a perfectionist <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all a video of what it feels like getting whipped literally by this whip right here the third thing is their nails however that's the problem because rather they're trying to defend themselves or not we get tore up and it's time to clip her nails they're literally like talons and it just tears you up no matter how she moves or not she gets snagged on your clothes and the problem about it is that their nails will get caught in something and they'll rip off. When a nail rips off, it does not. So always be mindful of that, especially depending on what kind of enclosure you have them on or depending on how many times you get them out, these nails can rip off. So that's definitely not something you want. So we're gonna show you right now how you clip their nails. As you can see, that point. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the light in there so y'all can see what I'm talking about. That point is the problem, okay? That right there is what we're gonna clip off. But remember, they're kind of like birds. Remember, reptiles are ancestors of birds. So their nails have blood in them. So you have to be very careful. A lot of people like to file them down um, instead of just using fingernail clippers to clip them. But she won't let us do that. All right, so here we go, right? These talons right here is what I need to get. So what I try to do is I just get the little tiny tip. There we go. Let's see if we can get this front one. But there's a little tiny black tip. That's literally all I take off. You don't have to take off the whole nail. Remember, if you go too far, I'm telling you they're going to bleed. I'm telling you guys, it is just barely in there. And she is doing awesome. So her one side is done. So now we're gonna switch shoulders and, uh, and see if we can get this other side the same and, and she'll be good to go. There's that little tiny tip. Whoop. Well guys, she did awesome. Man, I love it when we can clip their nails and they don't flip out. However, you can see that she loves to be up high. That's what she likes to do. I love wearing toboggans. I don't know if y'all have ever done it, but I'm telling you, get a hoodie, toboggan, a hat, let them sit on top of your head and they'll probably stay there all day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this short clip on how to clip their nails. Just be careful, only take off the tip. You know, you don't want them bleeding. It's happened, look, we've all made that mistake. So other than that, man, just make sure you aim to educate and inspire. And I hope to see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on this adventure, baby. See you next time.